Not long after their explosive and confrontational phone call, Kim and Kourtney Kardashian reconciled. Psychologists aren't surprised, and here's why. Kim Kardashian and Kourtney Kardashian Barker started fighting on season 3 of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and it hasn't stopped. Troubles began when Kim decided to collaborate with Dolce & Gabbana on a 90s-inspired collection, just months after Kourtney collaborated with the brand for her wedding to Travis Barker. Their conflict was temporarily resolved, but it flared up again when they heard what each other said on camera for season 4. The fourth season premiere began with an explosive phone call in which everyone expressed their dissatisfaction with the other. Her Courtney felt that Kim was using her wedding aesthetic to her own advantage and that on her wedding day itself Kim was not happy with her. Kim said Courtney has become a different person, she said. It ended with Courtney calling Kim a witch and a narcissist. Psychologists Abigail Leff, Orla de Los Santos, and Jane Kawoody Cooper say the fight between the Kardashians highlights some truths about sisterhood, as Courtney suggested on the show. It says that there are. Why are the arguments between sisters so intense? Lev and Cooper note that arguments between siblings can be much more intense than disagreements with friends. Why? It's the shared history that matters. Sisterly feuds are different and much more intense than friendship feuds, Lev says. This is because it touches on the deeper wounds found in childhood. Arguments between siblings also tend to be more hurtful because they consolidate larger themes and patterns within the family, Lef said. They deal with broader themes and patterns around scapegoating, golden children, equity, and collaboration, she continues. Courtney echoes Kim when it comes to the underlying dynamics of the phone call that kicked off season four of the Kardashians, saying it's not about the outfit but rather about the wedding and the mystery of who wins. He said he was angry about the resolution issue. When do you become the center of attention? I can't stand other people being the center of attention, Courtney said. You came to my wedding. You couldn't be happier. From the moment you got there, and from the moment you left, you complained. It's all about this. Forget about not being happy. You weren't happy for me. There's no way I'm happy that I'm the center of attention and you're not. Lev says Courtney's feelings about her could be due to her sister getting more attention. Say. This is something that Courtney often experiences with Kim, where she feels like Kim is taking away all of her resources, Lev says. This is a deep part of childhood because Courtney is an older sister and when younger siblings are born, older siblings feel like they are losing the love and resources that were once theirs alone from their parents. It's related to scars, she continued. Kim and Courtney are the main players in their feud, but not the only ones. Other sisters are also involved on camera and behind the scenes. Kim told Courtney that she has a group chat with her other friends and her family to talk about her. Lev said that arguments between siblings happen within the context of the family unit, meaning other people often get caught up in the drama, as is the case with the Kardashians. When there is a feud with a family member, it affects the relationships of the entire family. And other family members are not only affected, but also drawn into the feud and play a part in the dynamics, says Lev Lawrence. It affects the entire family system and may not just affect the two people in the actual feud. Sibling conflict can completely change the relationship between people and their families. There is Social role